how y'all doing? Just getting ready because I'm not really going anywhere. Um, I'm going to Sainsbury's. Like, oh, I've got really achy bones. Oh, I've got really achy bones. And I've been absolutely in my bathing era at the moment. Oh, my arms really do ache. God, fucking hell, my, oh, my bones do really ache. I've been bathing a lot at the moment because of my ass problems. And also because, like, I've been on my period and I've just been in a bit of a weird funk. So, like, every time I feel a bit weird, I just have a bath. Because, I don't know, I just associate baths with, like, I don't know, healing. Oh, my God, my bones are absolutely aching. Basically, um, my last vlog. Yeah, sorry about that. October's very own Drake. Yeah, I was in my... I feels a bit um a lot of stuff has happened i literally i uploaded that when i'm filming this i uploaded that today and most of that footage was from like yesterday you know the time the time like gap what's it called time jump time leap time hop boomerang sorry don't know what compelled me to do that like the time difference obviously between like when i film these and when i upload them but basically like in real time i uploaded vlog 90 today when i'm filming this which is sunday the 16th uh, yeah i uploaded it today and i filmed it on the 15th and like a few days before that so like the 13th and the 14th and the 15th i think i can't remember anyway but obviously that was like yesterday so it was very recent i i, I don't know i've been feeling really like i said in that vlog i've been feeling really anxious which means i have been sort of like neglecting every single part of me um i had like a self-care evening last night and by that I mean I literally just lit some candles and had a Yorkshire pudding for dinner and bought some and spent copious amounts of money on things I don't need. That's what I call self-care. Did a face mask but I genuinely looked so terrifying. I was genuinely scared of myself so I had to take it off. <laughs> I had to take it off because I was so scared babes. Yeah I had a self-care evening whatever. Um, I'm feeling a bit better now. Um, I'm not feeling as anxious as I once did. Look at how dirty my face was. That's fucking vile. But yeah, I was feeling very anxious, very just on edge. And then I got myself into like a proper little funk. So I felt really shitty, which is never good for me because you know me, babes, when I'm feeling shitty, it can get a bit, oh, I was going to say litty, but there's nothing lit about being suicidal, is there? Ah! Sorry. <laughs> I'm allowed to make those jokes, okay? I'm tormented by cams for most of my teenage life. Anyway, so I'm feeling a bit better now. Um, it's Sunday, you know, really hanging in there because I am in the trenches on a Sunday, as we all well know by now. But yeah, I'm feeling okay. I think the reason, and I did actually film like a huge clip for my last vlog to talk about another reason that I was feeling a bit weird, but my memory card had an error and then it didn't record any of it, which was absolutely fun dabbing dozy things that you definitely want to happen to you when you're having a breakdown. I, okay, this is gonna sound really weird, right? But in the span of 24 hours, two people that I used to associate myself with, one of which I had, I was in a relationship with for like eight months and the other one I was like, Okay, I'm gonna say this and I don't want any judgment. I don't want any judgment But I used to sleep with this guy like on and off whilst I was at my last job And I was at my last job for like three months. So it was sort of like a summer job It didn't I didn't intend for it to be like a job of a certain time span But like I really struggled at that job in the summer because of my actions and they weren't my actions But my actions resulted in oh my god is Bella dead? No, they weren't my actions But basically I I slept with this guy at work and everything was fine, I, I quite liked him, and then I sort of got to know him a bit better. One sec. You guys, I'm so sorry about that, I literally just got completely ready off camera. <laughs> Fuck me. That was pretty impressive. <laughs> wow. Um, I just got ready because I've estimed my friend. Um, but basically I was saying that I've been in a bit of a funk. Um, I'm sort of seeing the other side of it now. I have like, I have plans. I've made plans. That's something I need to start doing more. Making plans so I have stuff to look forward to. But the thing is, a lot of the times with plans, you need to have money. And I don't own the great British currency as we speak. I've got no money, babes. But yeah, I was feeling funky. I got... Um, I can't remember where I got to in my story about my weird thing that happened in the last like 24 hours but Basically in the span of like 24 hours I, I'm not even taking the PIWS when I say this In the span of 24 hours two people that I used to see or like I was like with messaged me Which really freaked me out but like I oh my god I was I have told you this bit What am I like anyway so sorry um yeah so this guy that I used to see Well let's see I slept with him a few times well okay the easiest way to explain it is that at my old job, I met this guy, slept with him, slept with him a few times. I kind of liked him, but I was a bit like, I found out that he was a bit of a, he could be a bit of a dick. Um, a bit of a dick. Fucking understatement of 2022. And then that, 
that action led to consequences in terms of like my work life just got extremely like hard to bear and it was just a bit shit basically like everything about it was just a bit shit um and looking back i shouldn't have done it but you know everyone makes mistakes everyone has those days and you know that's fine you're allowed to make mistakes you're allowed to to do things that you wouldn't necessarily do again it doesn't mean that you have to regret it but like i just yeah you learn from it at the end of the day but basically that happened and when i left when basically he went to uni i didn't and when he went to go back to uni i sort of ended things on nice terms because i knew i was going to be leaving that job i never told him that so i i left it on nice terms it was fine and then my ex-boyfriend messaged me not the horrible one do not worry darling directed by o wild it was not my horrible one it was one of the good ones well probably the only good one actually no my first ever boyfriend was nice as well but that's not the point so I had like my first ever boyfriend and then this boyfriend and then my really shit boyfriend and then I've been single since that one like single I've slept with people I've seen people but like I've been single since then which is the beginning of 2020 anyway so the one in the middle the second one he asked to see me to speak some things through everything was fine I left it feeling okay I was obviously in a bit of an anxious place like anyway um so when I saw him I was feeling anxious but like I felt a bit better after seeing him because it was nice to see him nice to catch up nice to talk about things and there was no bad blood like nothing bad happened so like I can't complain at all but then obviously when the guy that I used to work with messaged me I felt very anxious very like what the bloody fuck is going on my hair is just not giving the sleigh I wanted it to slough um yeah very anxious very like what the fuck is happening like I don't like this I don't like this grandpa that's still damn bad keep on digging yeah it was it wasn't very nice because it was just like i didn't really know what he wanted i didn't really know what was happening i think he just wanted me to go around to his house and sleep with him um obviously i wasn't gonna do that that just made me so anxious and it felt like things from the past were just being trudged up and i wasn't happy with it and i wasn't okay with it because i didn't elicit it i didn't ever like this was never on my own doing like if that makes sense like i never wanted anything from my past to come up and it just felt like everything from the past was like drudging up and i didn't like it no where the freak is my hat what what the blood it where's my hat maybe it's still in the car one sec also i've been in my pajamas all day today and i think i'm gonna go to sainsbury's in them because i need to go to sainsbury's to get some yorkshire puddings because i'm gonna make chicken pie for dinner tonight and i really want some yorkshire puddings because i haven't had a roast in a while and i really want a roast but there's absolutely no bloody way i'm cooking a roast just for myself no way so i'm gonna have chicken pie and mash and yorkshire puddings and like veg smash do you know what i mean but yeah basically a lot of things was coming up and i just i just didn't like it and you know it felt like i'm already going through this like transitional period in my life where, like i'm starting a new job and like i'm seeing someone and things are fine and you know everything's fine i guess but like i didn't like all of this stuff coming up and even though seeing my ex-boyfriend was fine it didn't have any negative Im impact on me like it was i was very anxious for it to happen but then as soon as it happened as soon as i saw him it was really nice it was nice to catch up it felt like old times it was really lovely um that guy messaging me like it just it just put me in a really weird funk and i just felt really strange after it like that's literally the only way i can describe it i just felt strange dr strange in the multiverse of midness i felt like dr strange and it wasn't in the multiverse of slayness it wasn't i'm telling you but yeah so basically i just have felt a bit weird but today i've sort of really taken it easy um i take it quite easy most days actually but like i really i really just took it easy i had a whole pizza for lunch smash had cheesecake for breakfast smash had a bath and i read my new book which i'm absolutely l-o-v-i-n-g i bought girl interrupted do you know how hard it was for me to find this fucking book it took me like i don't even know like when i tried to order it online it wasn't going to get here till november i said no then i went on my waterstones app obs my one of my most frequented what one of my most frequented apps and the my, the closest one was like 10 miles away like i have three waterstones that are closer to me than the one where i had to go to get this i was determined so Suze, susanna <laughs> yeah your sales are rising and that's because of me single-handedly anyway i need to go and get yorkshire puddings before saying three shots i'm also gonna get myself a wee bubble tea because you know what give it to me i'm worth it that's what fifth harmony once said do you know what i mean um but yeah um also i need to find my fucking my beanie because there's absolutely no way that i'm going out with my hair looking like this like my hair is so bad i wash it and it just still looks greasy I what the 
I bought a new shampoo and conditioner um, from Lee Stafford. It's the hair like treatment, hair growth activation one. It was three for two, so I thought I'd give it a try. And one of my best friends, Grace, uses it, and her hair is so long and luscious and lengthy and just gorgeous, but it's probably because she's never used bleach on it. But I'm not going to put it down to that. I'm going to put it down to the fact that she uses a nice shampoo and conditioner, and now I've got that one, and surely I'm going to get long, luscious locks. Please. Oh, give it to me now. <laughs> Right, my mum and dad are on holiday and they've got the dogs with them and it literally just has thrown me off. It's thrown me off! I love having wooden floors because I really get to just slide and glide. To the left. That way. Take a bit now, y'all. One half this town. Right foot, two stamps. Left foot, two stamps. Slide to the left. Slide to the right. Crisscross, crisscross, cha cha real smooth. Do 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 go to work. Do 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 to the left. Okay, I need to stop this before I perform the whole song. One half this time. Do do do. Check it out now. Crisscross. How low can you go? Can you go down low? All the way to the floor. How low can you go? Can you bring it to the top? Like you never, never stop. Can you bring it to the top? One hop. Get funky now. Ooh, do, do, do. <laughs> right. I got stuff to do. Guys, look at how I'm dressed right now. <sighs> Sorry. I genuinely... Oh, what's that? I genuinely look like the grandparent. I genuinely look like a grandparent. And do you want to know why? It's literally my granddad's jumper. He gifted this to me for Christmas once. Hashtag not an ad, but hashtag gifted. Because I went, Grandad, I really like that jumper. And then he went, mm, let me take that and save a bit on the budget and give you that for Christmas. My man's innovative. He gave it to me for Christmas that year. Nothing but respect. Anyway, I need to go. I've got no pockets, so. Life of being a woman, am I right? A oppression and no pockets. What can be better than that? Ah, almost dropped my Dairy Lee Dunk carton. And again, if I get cream cheese on this, I'm going to be so pissed. For real this time. Oh! Are you taking the piss? I think I've seen this film before. And I didn't like the ending. Okay. It is about damn time. Oh! Oh! I wanna rock with you. <laughs> Guys, I'm about to get bubble tea. I'm elated. I'm feeling hashtag elated. The, the no pocket situation is stressing me out a bit though. How am I meant to carry my goods? It's okay. I will persevere. Once I was afraid, I was petrified. Sorry. Next time you see me, I'll have a bubble tea. Oh my god, that was so loud. Oops. Guys. I got my bubble tea! You wanna know something? My job of the summer may have given me so many bad experiences with men and given me, you know, a, a, a slight seasoning of trauma. But, and it's a big but, and it's not mine because I have a micro arse. Um, my friend Bella already got me into bubble tea. I hated bubble tea before I started working there and now I L-O-V-E it. Smash. Mango, large, 50% ice, 25 sweet, with passion fruit popping balls. I got that, got some Yorkshire puddings, 48p, ah! and they were 48p, guess how much these cost, £5.50, and I would never eat these, I would never eat these, and yesterday I bought a lint chocolate bunny, tucked into it and it was white chocolate, I like white chocolate but I did not like that because I really thought it was milk chocolate, lint milk chocolate, no, it was white, anyway, I don't like dark chocolate, um, but Mikey Bella mozzarella does, so maybe I am in my whipped era, but I'm not in my whipped cream era and that's something I'll gladly go on record and say I really don't fuck with whipped cream the only time I fucked with whipped cream is in a pavlova meringue which is basically a pavlova and at Christmas at Christmas time mistletoe and wine if you know what I mean I will eat a mince pie with a bit of whipped cream on top because I've always done that that's something I've always done well something my mum's always done and I just I've just grown up with that now it's just it's just second nature it's just what I know Anyway, they did not hold back with the amount of balls they put in this. Do you know what I mean? Mm, mm, mm. Scrumdiddly umptious, if you know what I'm saying. Delish. This oh, always hits the spot. Do you know what? Yesterday, I was avidly Googling what's been going on with the planets. And today, I'm drinking bubble tea. 
and buying 48p what buying 48 p's worth of yorkshire puddings there's 15 in here aunt bessie's it was like 18 for two pound 25 i thought pi double s off they'll taste the exact same anyway duty calls i've got to go pick up this boy this gentleman oh it's a certified slapper i'm a motherfucking train wreck you guys tonight i'm hosting a dinner party hosting a dinner party Oh. Hosting a dinner party for two friends. I'm a little bit scared because I'm cooking chicken, but it'll be fine, I hope. Um, look at this, look at this setup. Making vegetas. <laughs> someone call me hostess with the most deaths. I could tell you that I've murdered someone and you just go, mm hmm. Kind of hot. Mm -hmm. Look at how seasoned my chicken is. <laughs> yes! Yes, Gaga, you look so good. How you doing, George? So fitty, please. How you doing, Lies? Winning. Let's see how much money you got, George. No, that's You're not bad. It's just your 11th time in jail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Good morning. I have a strong feeling that I'm about to piss my pants, so I should probably sort that out. Um, I am absolutely shattered. For what reason, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I am shattered. Don't ask me why, because I don't know. I had my first shift at my new job last night. Glossing over that. Don't want to talk about it. I just, I'm tired and I'm pissed off and I don't know why I'm pissed off, but I just am. I'm literally naked from this down, so I'm really trying careful not to flash you, but yeah, I'm... My parents are still on holiday, so I'm still cosplaying as a housewife. Mm. So yesterday- Oh, fuck me! What is in my eyeball? What's in my retina right now? Who's calling me? Oh, my mum's FaceTime me. <laughs> Hold that thought. <coughs> Sorry. Mum just had a little FaceTime to me on the beach. Basically, my mum and dad are still away, so I am literally cosplaying as a housewife. The other day, I did, like, a dinner party- Dinner party? I made fajitas and cheesecake for my friends. There was four of us eating, and I used an old El Paso kit, but yeah. I did host a che cheese party, that would be lit. I hosted a dinner party. And then yesterday, before my shift, I was so stressed. <gasps> Noki? Gokki? I don't know. I <laughs> Yesterday I made Noki. I don't know how you pronounce it. Is it Noki? Gokki? I don't know. But I made Noki and I put mozzarella on top and I put it under the grill, but I had to grill on the lowest setting because you can't see the settings on the grill because they've rubbed off. And so it wasn't melting and I was literally like crying and shitting and pissing my pants and vomiting and just sobbing because i didn't have much time to eat my food and then i got home and my brother had eaten the rest of it and i was absolutely distraught because i just came home from work and i was feeling like shit babes i was feeling like your shit um and today i need to tidy my whole room which is such a chore like when my room starts to get messy that's when i know that up here something ain't right well nothing's really ever right up here but still it's a bit of a bit of a tell i need to clean out the parrot's cage because i don't know i don't know if i've ever openly stated that i have a parrot and a budgie i don't personally i'm actually fucking terrified of birds but my mum just didn't have much regard for that so she still got them um i need to clean out the parrot's cage i need to empty the dishwasher i need to reload the dishwasher this shit's exhausting this shit is fucking exhausting and the worst part of this all the worst part is that I had an Oreo cheesecake that I made for my dinner party the other night and we didn't finish it and so I've been just like pecking away at it and I had a little slice left in my mini fridge and I was gonna have it for breakfast today because you know most important meal of the day or whatever I fucking ate it at 1am this has happened before as well I don't know what vlog it was in but do you remember when I ate that strawberry cheesecake at 1am <laughs> This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare of epic proportions. I'm so bloody pissed off at myself. Why did I do that? And the thing is, even if I wanted more Oreo cheesecake, even if I wanted some, I'd have to make it and let it set for at least like two to three hours. That just won't do. And to make matters even worse, I'd have to go out and get the ingredients. And guess what? I have 56 pounds to last me till I get paid. I don't know when I get paid, okay? I don't know when. And, um, 56 pounds. What is going on? I'm going to Top Golf tonight, so I need to pay for that. Don't ask, because I will not tell, because I don't even know. My, my car has given me multiple warnings that I have like critically low fuel so there is a chance that I could break down at any minute so I need to get fuel um it's my friend's birthday soon so I need to buy her presents with what money um Kalana keeps fucking knocking on my door telling me oh you're not exit so I fuck off I don't have the money 
This is why I shouldn't be allowed to use Klarna. This is lethal. This is literally lethal to me. I just don't know. Yeah. So, mm, yeah. I am absolutely S H I double T I N G ing myself about money. See, this is why I'm anxious about money because I'm so bad with it. It's just a nightmare. Um, and now look at me. I look like an absolute fucking. I'm giving absolute hunchback of Notre Dame vibe. Do you want to know something? One of my um, one of my ex-boyfriend's friends told my ex-boyfriend that I looked like the hunchback of Notre Dame. And then when Notre Dame burnt down, he messaged my ex-boyfriend saying, yo, I heard your girl's house burnt down. Certified hater, am I right? Anyway, um, it's also Domestic Violence Awareness Month. So you know that I'm going to be hopping on that, hopping on the old IG story to write my, put my two pence in, which I could literally only put two pence in because if I put in any more, I'd be a fucking lost, wouldn't I? Fucking no money. Oh, let some light it. Let there be light. Anyway, I'm gonna go have a bath. Try and like figure out what to do with myself. I'm a fucking mess. I haven't cleaned any of my piercings in such a considerable amount of time. I'm disgusting. I'm disgusting. Ah! It's fine. Everything's fine. Apart from the fact that I want to die. Everything's fine. <laughs> Guys, I am so fuck. I'm so pissed off because basically I've just bought all of my friends birthday presents okay great that's good that's done now one less thing to worry about Klarna's a wonderful thing anyway besides the point irrelevant I I bought her something which is like personalized so I need to like message the person on Etsy to send her the picture of what I want personalized basically and I go to send it I think here we go just gotta send this and then it's done you need to confirm your account what the bloody fuck do you mean I need to confirm my account? I've been buying stuff on that Etsy account for like fucking three years now. Why do I need to fucking confirm it all of a sudden? And then it was like, you should have an email. I don't have a fucking email. So I search up on Google how to confirm an Etsy account and it sends me to fucking stupid listings. I don't want to buy a confirmation. I just want to fucking confirm it. And I'm stressed and I need to change my bedding. I need to tidy my room. I need to clean the birds out. I need to fucking empty the dishwasher. I need to reload the dishwasher. I need to have some lunch. But no, I'm sat here at this stupid fucking site trying to fucking confirm this page and it's doing my head in. It's fine. I will just fucking jump off of a cliff. I will search up on ways most accessible roofs and I will jump off of it. You think I'm joking. And this morning I've been searching up on Google. Can you sell your kidneys on Vinted? Because I am trying to make money any way I can. I swear to the fucking lords above me. <laughs> in the back of my mouth <laughs> sorry that is disgusting anyway in better news i did a whole story about national domestic violence awareness month i don't know if i said awareness earlier so it sounded like i just said national domestic violence month which obviously wouldn't be good anyway let me just try figure this out okay purchases and reviews of course it's taking me to a whole nother fucking tab <gasps> resend email yes up the mother bleeping boys that is absolutely what i needed oh for fuck's sake what do you mean you don't have my password i made it up right looks good beyonce's on the old on the old radio right maybe i'm not as miserable now i still am because now i have 30 pounds to my name mm. clara's paying 30 days fucking you are a real one for that yes okay it's done right here we go i think i'm okay now i've confirmed my email i'm gonna send this off and then yeah i'm gonna tidy my room and then i'm gonna do everything else oh my god my eyebrow pissing really hurts probably because i haven't fucking cleaned it in a while anyway this is not important right now i need to go do some stuff i'll be back don't worry babes sorry you sorry you had to see me like that but gotta keep it real do you know what i mean this is the remains of my oreo cheesecake disgusting Okay, ignore how fucking collapsed I look, but I've I've cleaned my room. It looks so much better. I need to take my rubbish out, but apart from that, it looks way better. It's all tidy. Um, slay, slow the day away. Change my bed. Also, look at this. I've got the fucking 
Oh my god, I've got the Lego flowers because story time, I now have a boyfriend. <laughs> Stop, because I will literally compulsively laugh. I have a boyfriend now. Yeah, even the camera can't handle that bit of info. I've got a boyfriend now. What the bloody fuck? I'm not even taking the P I W S. Yep, I'm wifed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that's something that happened. That's a new bit of info for you all. Yeah, no one else can